show you how to make an outfit for Metal Gear Solid 5 Kazuhira Miller. Now the first outfit that we want to start with here today is actually the Peace Walker outfit for Kaz. From the... yeah, Peace Walker. You're going to want to get the navy... no, green tuck shirt. And then pants, we're going to want suit pants. No, not suit pants. Team pants. I believe, I, I would recommend team pants. Uh, forest combat pants. There we go. Now we're going to walk over here to, I believe, the ties. Alright. You can wear a watch if you want, I guess. Uh, you're going to want a yellow tie, kind of like the handkerchief thing you wear in Peace Walker. And body armor, you want green body armor. There we go. I think that looks good. And then you want to get sunglasses. Aviators, of course. Nothing else. There we go. Coffee cop friends. That's the Kazuhiro we all know and love right there. Then we're going to want to get the Phantom Pain outfit, which is a trench coat type of outfit. They don't have a brown trench coat because for some reason they don't have a brown trench coat. They're fucking psycho for not having that in there. But yeah, let's start off with the uh, overcoat. It is the... The beige one, not that good looking, honestly, but it, it's good enough for this. And then you're going to want to get a, um, I believe, business shirt, if I can find it, for fuck's sake. Business shirt. I feel like I'm half retarded for not being able to see it. Business shirt, right the hell here. There we go. All right. Now, you want a white one. All right. There you go. We're going to come back over here and get something. A red tie and brown gloves. So yes, brown gloves. I prefer level, uh, leather. Level gloves. Leather gloves. And a red tie. There we go. Alright. No pants. We need suit pants this time. So here we go, soup pants. Dude, I'm sorry guys that I cannot find the damn clothes I'm looking for. I should just wear the outfit. I don't know, but I want to show you how to make them. Because a lot of people asked, or uh, like one or two people asked in my first video, like how do you put it together. So I'm showing you. Here we go, yes, the green Olaf pants. And dress shoes, any kind, it doesn't even matter. I don't really think it matters. No, I'll tell you this, I'm the biggest Metal Gear fan on this damn planet. Like, I'm disgustingly obsessed. So yeah, okay, now for the beret, they don't have military berets, so you gotta settle with a black flat cap. Which is crappy. I really want a good trench coat and a military berets in this game. Now our next outfit is going to be, it's not actually Kaz, it's more of a um, Ocelot unit thing. Or if you've seen that trailer with Quiet. It's the Diamond Dog Soldiers, so we're going to want a black sweater. Now, after this, you can really choose a... You can use utility vests or black body armor, whatever you want. I prefer black body armor with a black parachute on my back, but I'm on a parachute right now. So, what I'm going to do is just wear black body armor, and I'm going to show you what I put on. You want to go get the team pants. Not heist pants. Team pants. Not heist pants. Team pants. Team pants, black or heist pants, it actually probably doesn't matter either. And then you're going to want black gloves too, but we'll go to that in a minute. You want a red flat cap, you know, the red berets the Ocelot unit wears. Which, I'm, I'm not sure if that's Ocelot unit, or if it's just Diamond Dog Soldiers. I'm not sure what's going on with that in Metal Gear Solid 5. But yeah, here we go, is the black scarf, you're going to want a black scarf, definitely. And some black gloves. Now, to look more like the soldiers from the trailer with quiet in it, I would wear night vision goggles. So we'll go out here and I'll put the night vision uh -huh. on. Now, to find night vision, you go to the gun store. It's in the middle of the gun store on this table with, like, cups or something on it. I don't know. It's easy to find. I should probably put that in the video, but I didn't, damn it, so. Sorry. Sorry. 